Are you feeling short on Primo Gems? Use these five ways to collect more so that you can roll until your heart is content. Number one is first time bonuses. When you first start your journey, you're gonna get a lot of handouts, and I mean a lot of handouts. Think of these handouts as a first time for playing the game. And now, go to any dungeon that you haven't completed and go get that first time bonus on it. Each one of these dungeon first time clear bonuses should give you about 40 Primo Gems and some pretty good loot. While you're at it, make sure to go pick up every teleport around the map and go discover every single other dungeon on the map to make sure that you're getting first time Primo Gems for discovering all of those areas. They can only be done once, but they give out a ton of Primo Gems. Number two is commissions. At Adventurer Rank 12, you will unlock daily commissions, which allow you to go do four missions a day for some sick rewards, including Adventurer XP and sweet, sweet Primal Gems. And once you've completed four of those daily commissions, you can go back to the Adventurer's Guild for another Primal Gem bonus and some more loot. Number three is going to be Achievement Hunting. Once you've unlocked a decent portion of your map, you should be able to go explore around the world and complete these achievements with no problem. You'll probably get a lot of these achievements on accident, but you can actually go look at the list of achievements that you have and go through the list and farm them. And in addition to giving you 5, 10, or 20 Primo Gems per achievement, you are also able to get some really cool player ID banners. These banners let you flex to everyone who joins your game and every game you join. So make sure to grab those if you want to look pretty cool. Coming in at number four is going to be overworld chests. And I know, it seems like a hassle. But it's not, because you're able to farm these chests just by playing the video game and doing achievements, commissions, and first time bonuses. Whenever you go and see an overworld chest on your way to do something, make sure to go and stop by, defeat all those enemies, and go ahead and pick up that chest, because each chest is going to give you a different amount of Primo Gems. The better the chest, the better amount of Primo Gems you're gonna get. In addition to opening up every chest you come across in the overworld, make sure to go and open the Shrine of the Depths using your Shrine of the Depths keys, so that way you're able to get some luxurious chests, which give you a bonus of Primo Gems and some really, really great loot. You can get Depths keys by doing multiple different activities, but one of the biggest ones is going to be First Time Dungeons, which was our number one, and our number five, which is going to be World Quests. World quests are amazing for Primo Gems because oftentimes there are some that will randomly spawn and in addition to the randomly spawned ones, you will be able to go around the world, pick up these side quests that will offer you between 20 and 50 Primo Gems. You can find world quests by talking to random NPCs that don't have markers above their heads, but you can also find them by talking to NPCs with markers above their heads. Those ones are much easier to find. And all of these quests are fairly quick and simple, but do have a very nice story behind them. So if you do enjoy playing this game for the RPG story elements, definitely pay attention to these. As previously mentioned before, from these world quests, you can also get keys for Shrine of the Depths in Liyue and Mondstadt. So make sure to do these as much as possible. And that is going to be it. Those are five easy ways to get Primo Gems in Genshin Impact. Ultimately, there are plenty more ways to get Primo Gems, but the best thing you can do is just simply play the game, get distracted by these things on the way, go get your first time bonuses, go do commissions and then pick up world chests, go make sure you're doing your achievements, finding world quests. Make sure to do all of those if you want to maximize your Primo Gem stocks. With all that being said, that is the video, folks. So those are your five easy ways to get Primo Gems. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content. And comment down below on what you're doing to get some Primo Gems and what you're rolling on. And if you like live content, go follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Have a good one, everyone. Happy farming.